Hi guys, welcome back. It is a glorious, glorious day. I think it's sunny, 50 degrees. So excited. I have my little garden helpers. Thank you, Sai Sai. So I thought I would spend a day just doing some spring garden cleanup. I wanna show you a few things that are super exciting. The garden is starting to wake up. So thrilled. So thrilled. So let me turn the camera around. I want to show you a few things and then I'm just going to get to work. So last year in this corner here, I planted six, um, six flock. Now I don't like leaving the tags out with them, but we have a one year warrant at my local nursery here where if anything doesn't survive the winter, I just bring in the tag, dig up the plant and they will replace it, which makes it super nice being in a zone three. <laughs> gets a little iffy but if you look down in here they I don't know if you can see are starting to come back super excited see that there so I'm just gonna be cutting away the dead flocks or the dead part from last year and just raking up the leaves I have a spirea here I might kind of cut back just a little bit um, I have uh, some leftover lilies here. I don't know if they're coming through or not yet. I don't see anything. So probably a little early for the lilies, but I'll still cut that back. Um, some delphiniums here. Oh, here they come. I see some new growth for the delphiniums. That's super exciting right there. I did not think they were gonna come back. They got eaten by rabbits quite hard last year. This is a hydrangea and I'm not sure what variety it is. It dies back to the ground every year. Um, so I'll be cutting that back and then it just flushes new growth and it gets these beautiful blue blooms. Um, so I'm not sure what that is, but it's gorgeous. I have a barberry here, another spirea, and you guys, I might take out the spireas sometime in the near future. I just don't like the way they look. I also want to show you last year, like a week before I ended up giving birth, I planted some tulips, ileums, and daffodil bulbs. Not a lot. I only planted a hundred because nine months pregnant. That was a feat, let me tell you. Um, but they are starting to pop up and they are right here. I have some weeding I need to do. So um, I planted them surrounding two lilac bushes. Well, there, there was three. There's one there, there, and then in that corner there. But when they plowed our driveway, they pushed all the snow over that third bush and it just snapped clear off. So down to two they are don't step on anything they are the monge lilacs kind of dirty but they are just the beautiful deep purple and they are the best smelling lilacs ever they get 10 to 12 feet by 8 to 12 feet and i planted them a little bit close probably way too much close <laughs> Um, but my husband just wanted this, just this massive bush. I might move them a little farther apart, but we'll see. Also want to show you, please excuse the weeds. This is my garden, um, from last year, my veggie garden, but look at this. My strawberries survived. So there's one, two, three right here. Another one in the corner, four. And I have several more along this whole row. Here's the best one here, but you guys, I just let my runners go last year, so I have all these baby plants popping up, which makes me super excited. So that's my little tour walkthrough. Um, Super excited. I'm just gonna set up the camera and get to work here in this flower bed. And then also this is just all dead space. I will be um, landscaping this whole area, turning this into a flower bed as well. I planted, what did I plant? Hold on, I always forget the name.
vanilla vanilla strawberry i don't know why i forget what it's called but um, i planted a vanilla strawberry hydrangea here in this corner right there and i plan on making this little section here my cottage garden so super excited faces south should be lovely so let's get to work Okay, you guys, I definitely got a good start for the first cleaning spring day. Um, a little man here just decided he wanted some cuddles. So I'm all about being a mom first. So we're, we're taking a break for probably the rest of the day just to soak in the weather. I have a, an umbrella right there in the swing to block us from the sun, you know. Gotta protect our skin, especially since it hasn't seen the light of day for like mm, the last six months. <laughs> but yes, definitely got a good start. Um, shaped up some spirey a little bit. They were kind of just getting leggy and just not real good. So tighten those up so they should come back nice and full. Um, did a little bit of weeding, raked the leaves. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited to see the rest of the garden just wake up and come to life. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up. I'm hoping to get my ranunculus in the ground within the next week or two. So I'm excited for that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.